Dear students, today I am going to teach you one question related to this geometry, construction and some uh, higher ability question. Uh, the qu construction, the, this question is uh, issued by CDC model set. Question number 13A look at here. Construct a triangle PQR having side PQ equal to 7 cm, QR is equal to 5 cm and angle PQR is equal to 120 degree. Construct another triangle SQR whose area is equal to the area of the given triangle. Okay, this construction we have to do. Then after that number B is higher ability equation. That also I am going to teach you in the same video. Okay, so first of all let us see this construction. So in this construction also some of you have got confusion while drawing this SQR. So I will explain this how to draw. So PQ 7 cm, QR 5 cm and PQR 120 degree. It is given to us at first. Okay. Let us see this construction. Okay. Our question is question number 13A. Let us start. Question number 13A. We have given here triangle PQR is equal to like this. Triangle PQR is, is equals to triangle SQR. Now look at it students. Our common base is QR. This is QR. So we have to put this QR at the bottom while drawing the rough figure okay let us draw one rough figure like this way see uh, let us make one rough rough figure and according to that we are going to construct okay triangle pqr if pqr will draw first of all let us draw one triangle pqr this is qr is at the bottom qr at the bottom and here p you can put now we have given that the measurement are like this uh, PQ equal to 7 cm, PQ this is 7 cm, this is quite long, but our this is short I am making, so this is rough figure only, so according to exact measurement we will do afterwards, QR, QR is 5 cm, this is 5 cm, and angle PQR, PQR, this angle is 120 degree given, okay, now let us draw this figure first of all, then after that, yes QR how to draw, I will show you, okay, so according to this, let us draw first of all PQR, okay? So for this, let us draw one line here. Yeah, okay. Now, let us draw a line, baseline first of all. Uh, QR we will draw like this way. QR. And then the measurement of QR is 5 cm. Let us measure 5 cm here. 5 cm. Five centimeter. Now we will mark here 5 cm like this. This is 5 cm, okay? From both sides like this, we will cut 5 cm. Okay, this is QR. We can write here Q and this is R. 5 centimeter. Now we have to construct 120 degree at Q. So let us construct 20, 120 degree at Q like this way with the help of compass like this. 120 this side, see. So if you draw like this way, the smaller angle will be 60 degree and the bigger angle will be 120 degree obtuse and acute okay like this see this is 120 degree is 120 degree we can draw now this qp from q to p it is uh, 7 centimeter so let us measure 7 centimeter with the help of compass here we will measure 7 centimeter 7 cm okay this is 7 from here to up to zero this is seven centimeter okay so from here we can cut seven centimeter like this now we have to draw a parallel line like this see look at here so in this rough figure so to draw another triangle equal in area so they should be standing on the same base and between same parallel so we have to draw one line parallel here this and this parallel we have to make so to make this parallel our alternate angle look at it. this angle and this angle we have to make same if these two angles are equal then this line and this line will be parallel. 
So we will draw an angle here. Let us make complete this triangle first of all. After completing, we will draw parallel line. Okay, like this way. Now we have to make this angle and this angle equal. So for this, with the help of compass, we will draw an arc at R. See, we will draw an arc at R like this. Okay. Now without changing the size of this compass, here also we will draw another arc like this way. See. Here also we will draw another arc like this way, see, understood? Now, we will measure the size of the arc with the help of this compass. Look at here, this one, see, look at it. From here to here, we will measure this one. And from this point, we will cut here, see. We will cut like this way. Now, if you join this point and this point, you will get a line. That line will be parallel to the QR. So we can draw on one line from here, see, joining this and this, see. These two points, we can join like this way. So now this point, this line is parallel, huh? This line is parallel to this line, see. These two lines are parallel. Okay, we draw a parallel line. Now, we have to draw a triangle, yes, QR, but measurement is not given. This is 7 centimeter letters. We have to label the figure also, okay? Uh, now we have to draw a triangle, SQR, which, whose area is equal to area of this PQR, okay? This is P. PQR, this triangle. Now we have to draw another one. one uh, if side is given, if one of the side is given, then from either from R or from Q, we can cut from here with the measurement of that side, we can cut and then join. If angle given, then we can construct that angle and the wherever the, the angle will touch in this parallel line, we will join from there. But here, nothing given here. Yes, you are, for this yes, you are, no measurement is given. So, we will put any one point over here. See, let us put here, see us here. This is yes. Now, if you join this yes with Q and R, you will get a triangle, which is triangle, yes, you are, like this way, see. This and now we can join yes and Q also. So this is triangle SQR. SQR is a triangle whose area is equal to area of triangle. We can say it like this way, but this setting should be very light. Do not make dark setting. Very light setting we can do here so that it is separately. Clearly, we can see triangle SQR. Look at it. Do not make very dark, okay? So now conclusion, we can conclude here. Hence... Hence, triangle SQR is the required triangle, triangle whose area is equal to, to area of triangle, area of triangle PQR. P, Q, R. Okay. Now we will move to question number 13B. Okay. In question number 13B, what we are asked to do? Now let us see question first of all. What is the question? Then only we will write answer. Look at here. In question number 13B, in the given figure, figure is given here, see? Okay. In the given figure, BC equal to CD. This BC is equal to CD. BC is equal to CD means C is midpoint of BD. And BC equal to CD, AE parallel BD, this AE and BD, they are parallel also. What is the relationship between ABC, triangle ABC, ABC triangle, and then BDE, BDE. This re relation we have to verify, okay? What is the relation, whether it is equal or double or a half or what is this, that we are asked to find out theoretically, right with reason. With reason we have to do, means... We have to write re with region means statement region both we have to show here. Okay. Now let us do for that. So for that we can do in this way. Uh, let us separate statement and region both. Let us write down like this way. Draw a line also. It will be better if you show in this way. Like this. See? Statement and regions.
regions okay now here it is given that triangle uh, okay figure we are not drawing okay, let us draw figure also then only it will be easy look at it I will draw a small figure here let me draw one figure okay this is the triangle given like this and this is midpoint here given okay this is B this is C and this is D and A and C are joined we need one construction also that's why we need to show bigger okay if construction not required then we can do without doing okay, without drawing figure also but we need a construction that's why we have to draw the figure okay what construction we have to do let me show you okay this is a this is e a e b c d okay we what we have given we have given that the c is the midpoint of bd and this a e parallel bd is given now we have to find the relationship between a b c and e b d okay so this is our question so for this we will construct c c and e we will join let us join c and e like this way okay if you join this now easily we can do here construction right on i forgot at first that's why a and sorry c and e c and e are joined okay now statement region region uh, in the statement region look at it a triangle a b c and triangle b c e look at it this triangle see a b c and b c e what is the relation look at it they are standing on the same base and between same parallel line so these two triangles are equal so we can write in number one what we can write we can write triangle a b c is equal to triangle b c e b c e see a b c and b c e they are equal yes why why area of triangle on same base and between same parallel lines are equal this is the reason okay now number two what we can write here look at it now triangle bce look at the bce this triangle BCE is equal to again this triangle CDE. Look at it. Triangle CDE. They are also equal. Why you know? This in this triangle, in this triangle BCD, look at it. C is midpoint. If C is midpoint, E C is median. And median of the triangle divide the triangle into equal area. So B C E and C D E they are equal. Median bisect. So we can write like this median bisect triangle in equal area okay now in number three what can we write now triangle bc is equal to half of this one see bce is half of bde can we write because this triangle and this triangle equal means this one of the triangle is half of this whole triangle so we can half of triangle BDE. BDE we can write. So this is from statement three. Uh, sorry, two. From statement two we got. Okay. Now number four we can write this BCE. Look at it. This is BCE, and here BCE is equal to ABC. So BCE can be replaced by ABC. So therefore triangle. ABC is equal to half of triangle BDE. So from this is from statement statement three and one. From statement three, in this three it is half given, and this BCE is replaced by ABC. The BCE has been replaced by ABC. So we are replacing here. That's why from three and one we got this one. Okay, hence probed. Hence probed. Thank you for watching this video.